Welcome back, modelers. So today I've got a cool lesson for you. Something that I really haven't taken advantage of in the past as much as I should have. Very overlooked in our hobby, and it's color wheel, color theory, color modulation. Now this has become a little bit more popularized with different modulation sets and getting into like the new AK Evo colors where you can get like a two-tone set kind of thing. But what if you don't want to give in to AK or you don't want to change your color or whatever? You want to use modulation on your own. Then I'm going to show you how to use the color wheel to do that. So different uh, ways that we would utilize this is in like post shading, pre shading, getting into weathering, filters, anytime we're trying to shift colors, right? And that should be quite often. Otherwise, what we'll get is a really flat, borderline monotone finish with our models, right? We want to have a little bit more life to it. And realism, that's a whole different debate. Kind of just depends on how much you use. So if we look at our color wheel here, just got this from an art store. Really useful because I was the type of kid that fell asleep in art class, to be honest. Didn't really care much, and but now... I'm learning a lot of different things that'll help out. So in the past, what we would do for pre-shading, post-shading, or maybe I'm just trying to modulate, what I would do is, let's say I go to green here. In the past, what I would do is add black, and you know, there's some effectiveness to it. Add black to make it a little darker, white to make it a little bit lighter, and you can do a little bit of that. But to take it up to the next level, you could add blue, change the hue entirely there, add yellow, and that'll make a really good faded kind of effect to it. Works well. And then in some areas, adding red. So what that actually looks like in the end is what I've got here. So I've got black that's added, and then blue, and you can see that pretty much goes right in line Oh, wait. Green. So it goes right in line with our color wheel, nearly. I mean, this is a dark green to start out with, so whatever. But you can kind of see the tone change with it, right? And then green adding yellow. And you can see how that can kind of change. Maybe it's a upper surface, so you can modulate with that. And then when we add red, that's pretty close compared to the others. You add red to the green, then you get into something more, I guess, maroon or whatever. And so that can be very effective to kind of have the different layers. Now with this, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could actually have what we would do with like pre-shading and post-shading, a shade. So you are maybe have green paint and you overlay some blue over it. And as long as the blue, this was a little dark, but if you have it very opaque with it, then, or transparent, then it can work out really well. And you can have that filtering effect in, in strategic areas. Now, do you have to do it that way? No. So one thing that um, people say to do, that you gotta do kind of thing, is when we have yellow paint. Okay, so what do we got to do with yellow? Well, you got to have red underneath it. Well, when we do something like that, it definitely pops, but it might be just as effective as just mixing and then adding yellow. I mean, adding yellow to red kind of thing and making an orange. Because that's really, according to the color theory here, what we're doing. We have yellow and we add red and that will make orange. So rather than for like a propeller spinner, having something where you're maybe even doing three different layers where you have white and then you got red and then you got yellow. That's a lot of the work. What you might do is just spray just orange. Or maybe like more of like an RLM04 kind of thing. I'm not saying paint your propellers this color. <laughs> no. But towards that tone, not just a straight yellow, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. And except I've got some photos 
where I have done just that. So the first photo we get into where I did pre-shading. Started out with black basing, just completely with black primer. But then on top of that, I added some whites in different areas to change those tones. And then on top, I then added some different things that would shift it. So with uh, this mosquito, there's a lot of blues and greens. So with that, I added some blue undertones and, uh, and some different you know, undertones to make sure that gets changed. Then we put on the paint in very thin layers because if it gets really opaque, then it's just going to cover all that up. And now you're having to learn post shading because, yeah, and don't worry, I've done that all the time. So with it, you have all that post shade, pre shading, post shading, and then this can be your result. And so you have where just you can see in different areas where it's the shifting from the light blue to a little bit more darker blue with there and changing up what uh, the modulation effect with it, right? Because we want to get away from a monotone. So how you do that, there's a couple of different ways. But what I'm going to experiment more with is doing there. The other takeaway from this is you do not have to buy specific modulation sets if you know what you're doing. So you could just grab some regular olive drab and then grab your primary colors, yellow, blue, and red, and add them to it. You could also get some secondary colors on there too with the color wheel and have that kind of tune there. If you want to just go out to an art store or Amazon, wherever, I got this off of um, Blick for pretty cheap. And so you can work with this as you kind of are going, okay, well, I'm making kind of a red orange tank. So what should I do? Maybe add some red to make it a little bit darker in certain areas and then maybe add yellow to have fit lighter. And there you have your shift. Some of the other on the other end of the spectrum, right, is blue. So big shift. So we're trying to just do colors that are just kind of next to them, right? Just to kind of shift it back and forth. Just kind of how I was doing a little bit, but exaggerated with green and then my blues. Change it a little bit there. So hopefully that was informative. Let me know what you guys think in the chat, and we'll see you on the next video.